Hey, what's up? It's Carrie, and this is my gaming setup. To start it off, this is my 2015 um, Gucci case. As you can see, it's uh, got all the branding. This is my Radeon 6800 XT graphics card. I've got the Gamdias, no, sorry, the Gamdias um, water cooler. Not too sure any specifications on that one. If you guys want to tell me, you can. Got the Z490 ASUS 8 gaming motherboard, if I'm not mistaken. And then I've just got a basic hard drive and a 256 gig SSD in here at the moment. Corsair, two 8 gigs of 3600 megahertz. Yeah. Those ones. I also have a glorious triple XL mouse pad just because I play a pretty low sensitivity and I need that for all the movements I make. Oh, yeah. um, I have an Alienware 240 Hertz. See, I know a lot about this one. It's a TN panel, 1080p full HD monitor. This is the Noble chair. I have no clue what model it is because I bought it from a mate secondhand. And then I've got a Ducky 1 2 Mini TKL keyboard. Um, you have the Wolf. I guess the prized possession to this collection is the Final Mouse Air 58. A little bit broken, but don't use the side buttons anyway. And that's about it. Hi, my name is Ethan. I'm 21 years old. My in game name is Carrie, and I play Call of Duty Warzone. Naturally, I wasn't really a competitive gamer. I started at the beginning of lockdown as I came back from a holiday. I guess I just got picked up and then got into it from there. It depends if it has to follow like right behind me or if I go a bit quicker, I have a bit of time to get away from it. If I kind of work out how fast it's going and how far I am, I think I should be fine. Cross oceans, that thing's gonna have a travel, bro. I can keep like a little guy behind me watching it and wake me up. Well, I'd probably look at it as if it happened to me, and probably not, because I don't think I'd be too stoked if that happened to me. <laughs> the worst I ever raged was playing Black Ops 2 with my mate on split screen. I threw my controller at the monitor and broke it. Probably still be surfing all the time, only <laughs> watching Netflix. <laughs> I mean, I actually only found out about my biggest breakthrough yesterday. I didn't know that at the time. I thought that other people had done it before, but I found out I was the first person to drop like a, like a 40 kill game in South Africa. That's a tricky one because my dad's always been pushing me with my competitive surfing. And then as I got older and I kind of slipped out of the very competitive scene, uh, he wasn't stoked. Like he wanted me to keep on that path. Um, dad, not so supportive still to this day. My mom kind of just tolerates it, she doesn't mind. I think obviously with more exposure and like more tournament winnings and obviously streaming and the more money that comes in, the better the, the response from it all. But yeah, I, I mean, 50-50, each day is different. If I'm winning, then they're happy. If I'm not winning, they're not happy. <laughs> <laughs>